appreciated um, uh, to the people, the students who are here, uh, fellow professionals. Thanks for coming and uh, uh, devoting time to attending this. Uh, one thing, no, I'd like to tell you, one of the most difficult things for a speaker is to speak in front of a big mall, right? Because there, there's really no focus. It's very difficult. Uh, at least, maganda mga monitors natin ngayon dito. Uh, so, again, uh, I appreciate that you're here like, right up in front, and maybe you'd like to ask some other people if you can come closer over here later. That'd be great. That'd be great. My name is Jason Magbano. I'm a wedding videographer. I've been doing wedding videography for, uh, it's 2017, 17 years already, right? So, uh, what, Tristan? Tristan is an intern. What, what year were you born? 1997. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I'm old. <laughs> All right, so 17 years. I don't even know how old you were, no, at that time, but uh, uh, I started shooting using Video 8, and then Hi8, and then SVHS, and then Mini DV, and then CF cards, and then now SD cards. So, medyo ang layo na nung, ano, nung uh, naging uh, uh, journey ko, no? from starting out, and then being a professional, and then uh, sharing back what I know as a teacher, as a wedding videographer. Uh, Pinag-isipan namin pabuti kung ano yung gusto ko na ituro para sa ngayong hapon. No? And uh, the topic that we really uh, came up with is my creative process in uh, in shooting weddings. Here's my thing kasi, especially when I do uh, uh, when I do workshops is this. No? To, to, for you to be able to, to, to shoot a camera, to learn how to shoot a camera and the settings and figure, figuring out the white balance, figuring out the shooting, lahat yan, matututunan nyo na yan sa YouTube eh. Like everything is online already. That's what I tell students eh. There's no excuse anymore. No? When you want to learn, just go online, search what you want, and then you're gonna learn. Okay? So, what to push, the settings on the camera, the kind of equipment to buy, it's all online. But my thing is, as a teacher, as a person who teaches wedding videography, what I want my students to learn is, is the question, is to learn how to answer the question, why? Okay? Bakit tayo nagsushoot ng ganito? Bakit kailangan ishoot yung bride habang nagbe-makeup? Bakit kailangan ishoot yung mga objects, no? Uh, kapag dating natin, first thing that we do when we come into a room. Right? It's always the question why, rather than the how, rather than the what. And that's what I want to explain to you over the course of this one hour, very, very brief lecture uh, uh, about wedding videography. Of course, I'd like to, uh, to thank the, uh, the company who invited me, uh, which is, of course, uh, JT. Uh, I am a, a proud, proud endorser of Think Tank Bags, and of course, they carry a di different, different lines, well, like Sigma, uh, Manfrotto, Lexar. So thank you so much, JT, for, uh, for having me. And this is their... Uh, so, sir, watching. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Okay, uh, I take this very seriously, no? When I lecture, no? Kaya marami ako yung share sa yung ayon na parang talaga pang wedding videographer talaga. Okay, here's the thing before, and we have some very veteran photographers here, like Mr. Raymond Marcelo, who has been doing this for longer than I have been doing this, right? The thing was before, our wedding videography, it was an afterthought. Back in 2000 and 2001, the wedding videography, it was not an industry that it is right now. Because before, wedding videography was just an add-on to the package of wedding photographers. Which means that, that was not their expertise. It means that, hey, madadagdagad ko yung kita ko, yung profit margins ko. That's why I'm gonna add wedding videography as a package. And just hire somebody or subcontract somebody. That was the thing before in the early 2000s. Now, a lot of the studios, like say for example, Imacron. When I was first starting out early 2000s, uh, and then some other companies, we started to think that, hey, okay, it's a matter of expertise. Dito ako magaling sa wedding videography. Dapat hindi ako mag-offer ng photography. Okay? Dito lang ako kung saan ako magaling. Right? And that's how we started. That's how we are able now to have names of our own. Trilogy, Bob Nicolas, Jason Magpanwa, Mayad, okay, Marvin Barbarona, 
right? I mean, kaya nagkaroon ng mga pangalan yan because we started to build on the foundation of of independent studios just doing wedding videography. Now, it was difficult, no? It was very, very difficult before. You know why? Because before, in the early 2000s, okay, people think that all wedding videos absolutely sucked. Sobrang pangit lahat ng wedding videos natin with all due respect sa mga nag-wedding video before. And why is that? Because number one, again, it was an afterthought. Right? It, hindi pinaghihirapan, hindi pinag-iisipan. Sinama lang sa package para mas kumita yung photography studio. Right? So, it was an afterthought and everything sucked. And when I say suck, it means that hindi mo siya talaga papanoorin dahil pangit siya. Right? And what were what was I thinking? Okay, what are what am I referring to? For example, anong ba ang format dati? Ang format dati VHS. How long is a VHS tape? Norman. How long? 2 hours. Naka SP pa yon. Eh pag naka EP. Oh, 3 hours, no? Naka 4 hours. Okay? So, people then were thinking that they were bound by the length of the VHS tape. Which means that if the VHS tape is two hours long, I'm going to deliver a two hour long wedding video. And who watches a two hour long wedding video? Nobody. Nobody. Right? So, pangit. Ha! Hindi ko pa yan. Second, okay, dal dati ang tagal tagal mag edit. Everything was linear first, right? When I say linear, tape to tape. Panasonic, AG1980. VHS, VHS, transfer yan, right? So, it took maybe six to eight months to even one year to deliver the final wedding video. And when you deliver the final wedding video to the couple, hey, dear couple, here's the final wedding video. Okay? One month after, sino mananood nun? Wala. Hindi na mapapanood ng magulang, hindi mapapanood ng mga kaibigan, hindi mapapanood ng kung sino yung close dun sa couple. The wedding high has dropped already. So again, my experience way back before as a person who does, who watches wedding videos like bad wedding videos. Content-wise, content-wise, people back then did not know how to cut. Okay? The only, ta the only thing that people knew how to do, the videographers before, was to zoom. Okay? And so wedding videos before were zooming in and zooming out and zooming in and zooming out, not cutting at all. And why? Because that was a feature, though, that was a feature that was heralded by the camera companies. 500x zoom, 1000x zoom. Di ba yung pores na yung makikita dun sa mukha? Di ba? Para feature ba talaga siya? Di ba? Or uh, novelty lang? They didn't know how to cut. So, if something was happening right here at the center, right uh, where the bride is, where the things were happening, I was just going to press record and roll and roll and roll and roll. Okay? And not cutting. So, very, very bad editing, very bad shooting. And plus, because of the equipment, dati, ano ang nasa likod parate ng wedding videographer, lalo na sa reception at sa simbahan? ilaw na at least 1,000 watts. I'm telling you, in 2002, in the same photo world, I, I buy Unumat lights. <laughs> Unumat lights at 1,000 to 1,500 watts. Wherever I would go, that light man will go with me because the cameras couldn't handle it. So, not only is the product bad, but when me as a consumer, as a client, see that, wow, such bright lights in the reception. The formality is lost. The elegance of the wedding is lost. I don't want that in my wedding. See? It's really just a mountain to overcome for wedding videogra videographers when we're starting out. Right? And then content-wise, for the music, ano music? Parating Sharon Coneta, Ikaw, Basil Valdez, Gayun at Kailanman, Enya, di ba? Uh, tapos, uh, basta, no? old school lahat ng music. Kasi nakakahon, no? nakakahon yung isipan to what a wedding video could be. But that all changed slowly and surely. And that's good. It's great for the industry. I love the industry that I'm working with. 
right? Weddings. People ask me that, hey, do you do other stuff? Yes, I do. 30, 35% of the work that I do is non-weddings. I do brand work, marketing campaigns for in YouTube, a bit of TVCs, but it's always weddings. I always go back to weddings because that's where I started from. And slowly and surely, sabi ko nga, nag-evolve yan. Nag-evolve, nag-modernize. Because of the work with a ton of different wedding videographers all across the country. And you would believe me when I say that the wedding videographers in the Philippines, they're the best in the world. Do you agree? Right? You watch a wedding video posted by a Filipino wedding videographer, the best in the world, I'm telling you. And it's a slow and sure thing that we try to do. Uh, una, natutunan namin na gumamit ng ibang music. No? Parang, pwede palang, pwede palang gumamit ng postal service, pwede palang konting EDM, pwede pala dashboard confessional. Okay? So, nag, 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 nagmamature yung taste. So, nagkakaskate down ngayon yan. And then we learned, we tried to edit it as much as we can to make it more, to make it better, to make it as cinematic as possible. So na-adapt namin yung cinematic language, what it is to, to do cuts, how to, how to uh, uh, apply a rhythm and pace into the edit and timing and scoring it perfectly so that the emotions rise with the music. So those are things that we learned along the way. More importantly also, as a business person, we learned how to price correctly, right? We, we learned how to price correctly because the industry will die if we cannot charge how we feel that we are worth. We cannot, we, if we cannot charge how much work we put into, all right, the videos that we make. Yun yung mahirap eh, okay? Uh, kailangan natutunan namin na, oy, dapat ganito yung amount ng pag-charge kasi ang laki-laki nung gina, yung, uh, ang laki-laki ng uh, ginagastos namin panahon at yung effort at yung talent na binubuhos namin sa paggawa ng wedding video. Okay? So very important, we learned that. So, right now, why? You would see that the wedding videographers are even, okay, priced higher than most photographers. Okay? And I'm very, very proud of that fact. Super, super proud. Kasi bakit? Pinagtrabahuhan ng mga wedding videographers yon. Kung dati, afterthought yan, no? Plus 15,000, plus 10,000, plus kukuha ng subcon na 5,000, kikita siya ng 5,000, no? Parang, oh, gan yeah, I'm sure meron pa rin ganyan, pero at least, mas naging high profile yung mga wedding videographers. And they, man, if you do wedding, vid wedding videos, you know it's hard. And therefore, you must be able to charge accordingly. Okay? So there. So, nag-evolve na. Nag-evolve na wedding videography. Ito naman yung naging problema. Sabi siya, seryoso ako sa pagturo ko sa inyo, ano? Ito. After a while, ganito naman yung nangyayari. Lahat gumaling. Lahat pare-pareho ng gamit. Lahat nagka-5D. Lahat merong slider. Okay? Lahat <clears throat> merong light cam. Lahat nakabili ng free fly movie. Lahat naka 51.2. Ano nangyari? Naging pare-pareho na yung mga wedding videos. Okay? Do, 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 do you see that? This to a certain extent, guys, when you watch online, no? Nagkaroon ng homogenization. Nagkaroon ng parang, uy, napanood ko na yan, ah. Uy, napanood ko na yung ring shot na yan. Uy, slow motion na naman. Uy, yung bride, tumingin na naman pa ganun. Okay? Tapos naka 60p. Issue yan, eh? parang, oy, parang, parang parang pareho na naman. Parang, oy, yung groom naglagay na naman ng shades. Ganon, no? So, uh, it, it, it's an issue. And it, it's a real issue. And it's a real problem. Uh, people and the videographers know this. And people will go through this problem, no? On a, you know, at, at one point in their careers. And that's fine, that's fine. Kasi lahat naman tayo, especially sa mga bago, sa mga nagsisimula, Meron kayong ano eh, meron kayong pagsisimulan and then you you just elevate yourself and you learn some more and you learn some more. But me as a person who has been doing this for two decades, nakikita ko na, uy, nagiging pare-pareho nga. Okay? So what is the challenge? What is the challenge for me as a videographer and my colleagues, no? Is to make things different, no? Just the challenge to be creative and the challenge to make things 
different. Okay? And to exert a certain amount of creativity kapag, uh, kapag gumagawa ng wedding video. Okay? So, yun yung creative process na tinatawag ko. How do I approach a wedding video? How do I attack it? Because as much as possible, because people pay a premium for my services, I want my wedding videos to be different and to be unique from one another. Okay? Ayoko maging factory eh. Okay? May business model na ganun. Gagawa ng, let's say, uh, kaya limang weddings in a day. Props to that. No? Meron kang manpower, magaling kang manager, magaling kang mag-logistics. Pero hindi ko kaya yon. Wala sa puso ko yun eh. Yung mag-mass, uh, uh, no? yung uh, mass production. So I always have to keep in mind, keep myself in check that, hey, I have to be always giving my best, my full creative best to the clients that I service. Okay. At saka, looking back, ngayon ko rin naman naisip to, that may be the reason why I have been doing this for a long, long time already. Because I feel strongly still, and I'm very, very passionate about what I do. Okay? Hindi naman ako tatagal dito sa negosyo na to at sa field na to kung hindi ko mahal yung ginagawa ko. Bottom line yon, I love what I'm doing, guys. I really, really love what I'm doing. So, you know, sometimes I get irritated like, Oh, Jason, are you gonna make a short film? Are you gonna make a movie? Etc, etc. Yeah, it's in the pipeline, it's down the road, but I'm totally happy making wedding videos. Eh. That's the thing, that's the key. No, I found it, I found my love for my craft early on. That's why I'm good at it, that's why I'm great at it, and that's, what I, that's why I feel I'm the best at it. Eh. Okay, because I love what I do. Okay, I'm going to show you some tips of, you know, how to prod your creativity later on. Let me just show you a video so I can take a short break. Let me see what I can show you here.